dear students welcome to the problem solving session on simultaneous linear first order ode with constant coefficients in the previous video we see the basics and importance of simultaneous linear differential equations and then in the previous video we solved type 1 in this video we are going to focus on the problems on type 2 and type 3 we see all the basics in the previous video type 1 is of the form derivative of one function depends on the other function we know how to solve the problems on this in today's session we are going to deal with type 2 that is equations mixes a derivative with both variables x and y and also type 3 derivatives of both variables appear in each equations so let us do one by one let us consider a problem solve the system of differential equations r notation for d by dt is capital d so we have to write in r format so dx plus 2x plus 3y equal to 0 here similarly dy plus 3x plus 2y is equal to 2e power 2t and then we have to assemble x in our format so we can write this as d plus 2 into x and similarly this 2 i can club and i can write it as d plus 2 into y so let us rewrite this as d plus 2 into x plus 3y equal to 0 and 3x plus d plus 2 into y is equal to 2e power 2t now either we have to eliminate x or y we learn that either we eliminate x or y we are going to get the same answer at the end that we see in the session 1 in the verification so let me eliminate y in this problem so to eliminate y i have to operate d plus 2 on the first equation and then multiply 3 on the second equation if i do this we will be getting d plus 2 whole square into x plus 3 into d plus 2 into y equal to 0 on the second equation we have 9x plus 3 into d plus 2 into y is equal to 6e power 2t so my aim is to eliminate y so let us take this as equation 3 and 4 now if i subtract 3 with 4 then these two terms will get cancel so we get d plus 2 whole square into x minus 9x is equal to minus 6e power 2t you can see the typed version now simplifying this and taking x in common we get d square plus 4d plus 4 and this minus 9 is equal to minus 6 times e power 2t so finally we can write this as d square plus 4d minus 5 into x is equal to minus 6e power 2t next as usual we have found the complementary function to find the complementary function make the equation homogeneous and then put d equal to m to get the auxiliary equation and solving this we get the roots and some students ask uh, why we can't use calculator i'm telling again uh, in the quadratic equation sometimes the roots are complex calculator will not give you the complex roots and it is very easy you can do this manually so m is equal to minus 5 comma plus 1 and very important simultaneous means my assumption is d by dt so my cf is going to be a e power minus 5t plus b e power t next we are going to find pi to find pi we have some assumptions we take denominator as dr and since my right hand side is e power at our assumption is d equal to a and here d value is 2 so d equal to 2 now substituting this d uh, in the denominator we get 2 square plus 4 into 2 minus 5 very good it is 7 and very important it should not be equal to 0 therefore my denominator is 7 now i can write my pi as 1 by 7 into minus 6 e power 2t so we found both pi and cf now let us write the general solution the general solution is a e power minus 5t plus b e power t minus 6 by 7 e power 2t so we have completed x since this is a simultaneous linear differential equation we found the solution x of t now we have to find the solution for y of t now to find y of t we have to take any one of the equation either equation 1 or equation 2 we have to think wisely if i take equation 2 then i can substitute x here we don't know what is the derivative dy by dt since we are finding y so this is not advisable so now if you take the equation 1 
we know what is x and i can do the derivative of x and i can easily find y so let me take equation 1 and then we can find y of t very easily so to find y of t first we need x and its derivative just now we found x and dx by dt it is going to be very easy minus 5 a e power minus 5t because we know differentiation of e power ax is going to be a into e power ax plus b into e power t and then differentiation of e power 2t is 2 into e power 2t that is 12 by 7 e power 2t so my dx by dt is ready x is ready i have to substitute this both in this equation so i will rewrite this equation as 3y is equal to minus dx by dt minus 2x substituting this two here we get like this now we have to simplify this further so multiply with minus 2 we get minus 2 a e power minus 5t minus 2 b e power t minus into minus plus 12 by 7 e power 2t so multiplying the minus uh, inside we get minus into minus plus 5a e power minus 5t minus b e power t then minus into minus plus 12 by 7 e power 2t and then simplifying further we get 3a e power minus 5t and minus 3b e power t plus 24 by 7 e power 2t dividing by 3 on both sides we get y is equal to a e power minus 5t minus b e power t plus 8 by 7 e power 2t so we get the final solution for x of t and y of t and i said in the previous video even you can solve for y of t first and then you can go for x of t so both will yield the same solution next let us deal one more problem on type 3 in type 3 we can see both x and y derivatives are there in both the equations we assume that d by dt is capital d so now we can club the contents we have x in two places so i can write this as 2d minus 3 into x plus dy is equal to e power t in the second equation i have y in two positions so i can write this as dx plus d plus 2 into y is equal to cos 2t and let me take this as equation 1 and now i am going to eliminate y it is not necessary to eliminate y always you can eliminate x also to eliminate y i am going to operate d plus 2 in equation 1 and then d in equation 2 so operating d plus 2 in equation 1 we get d plus 2 into 2d minus 3 into x plus d plus 2 into d y is equal to d plus 2 e power t we are just simplifying the right hand side we get d of e power t plus 2 times e power t that is equal to e power t because differentiation of e power t is e power t plus 2 e power t so we get 3 e power t now let us write this as equation 3 now similarly operating d on equation 2 we get d square x plus d into d plus 2 y is equal to d of cos 2t we know that differentiation of cos 2t is minus sin 2t and differentiation of this 2t is 2 so let us write in this format and take this as equation 3 and 4 i want to eliminate y so subtracting 3 and 4 easily we can see these two terms will get cancel and then the right hand side we have 3 e power t minus minus of 2 sin 2t so minus into minus plus we get 3 e power t plus 2 sin 2t on the right hand side we have to simplify this term d into 2d that is 2d square minus 3d plus 4d minus 6 and here we have d square x so i will subtract this so we get minus d square and i will take the x in common now simplifying this further what we get d square plus d minus 6 into x is equal to the right hand side so this is my equation you can see the type division now we are going to find cf and we have two terms in pi we are going to solve it as pi1 and pi2 to find cf as usual take the homogeneous equation the auxiliary equation put d equal to m we get m square plus m minus 6 equal to 0 and simplifying this we get m equal to minus 3 
and 2. Therefore, my Cf is very important. A e power minus 3t plus b e power 2t. You should not write x because simultaneous means we are differentiating with respect to t. Next, for p i, we are going to take it as p i 1 and p i 2. P i one is the right hand side is three power t. For this we have to assume d r as denominator. Since the right hand side is e power a t, we have to substitute d equal to a. Here d equal to one. When we calculate the denominator, one square plus one minus six. Very good. It is minus four, not equal to zero. Then the problem gets over. So my P i one is one by minus four into three power t. Next we are going to find P i two. So P i Two is the trigonometric term, so we have to assume d square is equal to minus a square. So here a value is two, so the d square is going to be minus two square, that is minus four. Now substitute the denominator value. We get minus four plus d minus six, that is d minus ten. We can only replace d square by minus a square. For d term, we know the classical technique: multiply and divide by the conjugate. So multiply and divide by d plus ten, we get like this. And in the denominator, using a square minus b square formula, we get two into d plus ten divided by d square minus hundred sine two t. So now calculating the denominator. We get minus four minus hundred is going to be minus one not four, so it is not equal to zero. Now substituting this, we get two into minus d plus ten divided by one not four into sine two t. Now we have to calculate d plus ten of sine two t. That is d of sine two t plus ten sine two t. We know that differentiation of sine two t is going to be two into cos two t. So we get two cos two t. Plus ten sine two t, and we can cancel this two with one not four. We get fifty two. Therefore, my P I two is going to be minus one by fifty two two cos two t plus ten sine two t. And then further, we can take this two in common. We can cancel with fifty two. We get minus one by twenty six into cos two t plus five sine two t. Therefore, the general solution for x is my C F plus P I one and P I two. Successfully, we found x of t. Now we have to find y of t to complete the problem. To find y of t, let me take the question again. Now I cannot either take equation one or two. The reason is in both the equations I have dy by dt. I want to find y of t. I don't know the way to find y of t. Then how can I find dy by dt? The simple technique is if we subtract equation one and two, what will happen? Dy by dt will go. So simply we get dx by dt minus three x minus two y is equal to e power t. Minus cos 2t. Very good. Just now we found x. From x easily I can find dx by dt. If we substitute both, we get the required solution y. Okay. Now from x, let us differentiate and get dx by dt. That is minus 3a e power minus 3t plus 2 into b e power 2t. And differentiation of b e power t is simply e power t. So we'll get minus 3 by 4 e power t. And in this term, and here minus 1 by 26. Differentiation of cos 2t is minus 2 sine 2t. And sine 2t differentiation is 2 cos 2t. Already we have 5. So 5 into 2 10 sine 2t. So this is my dx by dt. So my x is ready. My dx by dt is ready. I want to find y. So I'll keep all the terms one side. That is dx by dt minus 3x minus e power t plus cos 2t. And I will take y to the other side. So I can easily find the y. Now let us substitute dx by dt and x from this two data. The first term is dx by dt. Second term minus 3 into this. I am directly multiplying this minus three inside, simplifying and writing here like this. And we have the remaining terms that is minus e power t cos two t. See here, e power t terms consist of denominator four, so I can write like four by four. For cos two t also, we can see here everywhere twenty six. So I can multiply and divide by twenty six. So it is more easy for me to simplify these terms. Now simplifying this, we get minus six a e power minus three t. Then plus two minus three is minus b e power two t. Now we have nine minus three and four. That is nine minus seven. 
2 by 4 e power t. Now, let us simplify this. First, we are dealing with sin 2t. So, minus into minus plus, we have 2 sin 2t. Denominator is common. Let us forget about it. And here, 3 into 5 will be getting 15. So, 15 plus 2, we will be getting 17 sin 2t. And when we come for the cos term, minus n cos 2t, we have here. And we multiply this 3, we will get 3 cos 2t. And we should not forget this term. We have 26 cos 2t. So, 29 minus 10 will be getting 19 cos 2t. So, this is my 2y. When I divide by 2, we will be getting this final solution. So, we found both x and y. Hope you understand students. So, in this video, we cover both type 2 and type 3. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.